Chef Doug Payne is cooking up something in the kitchen of Burlington's Juniper Restaurant. Just a little fried oysters with some nice dipping sauce. Something that's a bit meddlesome. So this is the native, this is the invasive. Invasive species. Usually they're lurking in our waters or gardens. These are the periwinkles. But today... Saute those with some garlic. They're on the stove and in the fryer. They're really good uh, tasting products that are readily available. The most important thing that we can do policy-wise is preventing the spread of new species. For the second year, Joe Roman, research professor at UVM, along with Chef Doug and oyster grower John Broadley. It can only get better, I think, in terms of the market for, for these species. Have come together to teach Roman's marine ecology and conservation students an important lesson. If you can't beat them, eat them. Green crab bisque with, with white perch. Uh, white perch are an invasive species in Lake Champlain. That's what I, th I want the students to do, is think about ways that we can improve conservation in the world. We can prove, improve native species. One way of doing that, ironically, is reducing invasive species. They actually grow well you know, in mud environments. Brawley, who is based in Duxbury, Massachusetts, brought three invasive species that have moved in on New England's coast. Periwinkles, European oysters, and particularly pesky green crabs. It has really taken over a lot of the, the coastline, and it is a problem with not just uh, shellfish, but uh, seagrass beds and salt marshes in terms of their scavenging and burrowing and, and consuming. Invasives put pressure on native landscapes, and controlling these buggers, whether on land or sea, is not easy. They're very difficult. You have to be very persistent to uh, to reduce the populations. You just stab your, your toothpick in there and just pull it out. And that's it. So, enjoy. But eating them offers a simple way to help conservation efforts already in play. The, the fried oyster is really good, and the periwinkles, the invasive snail, is a lot better than I expected. Even if some can be a little tricky to actually eat. I can't get it. The creatures these students are munching on are mostly found in the ocean, not here in Vermont. But Roman hopes that introducing students to the idea of eating invasives will open them up to new ways of thinking. Look for novel conservation solutions. To me, that's the most important part is be creative and thinking about ways that we can help protect the natural world. Taking conservation to new heights and new tastes. I could go for some fried oysters right now. Invasive or native, they sound so good. And if you'd like to learn more about Joe's Eat the Invaders initiative or maybe get some recipe ideas to cook up some of your own pesky pests, you can check out his website. It is eattheinvaders.org right there on your screen.